So, Penultimatine, Sherborne, Prep, Time. King Umberto's order, 
the king notices that he and the restaurant owner were virtual doubles in face and in build. Both men began discussing the striking resemblances and found many more similarities. Both men were born on the same day in the same year, March 14, 1844. Both men had been born in the same town. Both men had married a woman with the same name, Margarita. The restaurateur had opened this restaurant the same day King Umberto was crowned King of Italy. On July 29, 1900, King Umberto was informed that the restaurant owner had died earlier that day in a mysterious shooting accident. And as the king expressed his regret, he was then shot by a member of the crowd. This next story is about an army officer who was very, very unlucky. British Army officer Major Somerville was fighting in the fields of Flanders in 1918 when he was knocked from his horse by a bolt of lightning. Somerville retired and moved to Vancouver. <coughs> Six years later, as he fished alongside a river, lightning hit the tree he was sitting under. Six years later, again, as he was out walking on a summer's day, a bolt of lightning slammed into him, permanently paralysing him. Sadly, Somerville died two years later. Four years later, by an amazing coincidence, according to the Reader's Digest, during a storm, lightning struck a cemetery and destroyed his tombstone. <laughs> so, we've heard stories of strange coincidences, but here is another for those in the audience by a strange coincidence are enjoying my thing tonight. The Pittsburgh Press reports that on September 14, 1928, that a man was arrested in a bank for check fraud. As he tried to deposit the forged check for 420 US dollars, the owner of the actual account came in to do business beside him. <coughs> she overheard the man mention her name and immediately told her own cashier to call the police. So, to summarise, we have heard examples of authors who have written about future events with some knowledge that could only have come from a vision of the future, or was it just <coughs> luck? We've also heard about individuals whose lives have been mirrored by others. And we have heard that lightning can strike more than once, four times in fact. And if you do go into a bank, use your own account. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for the time that you have allowed me to speak on this subject, and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of your evening. which I will definitely research in more detail after tonight. Since we are on the subject of coincidences, I do have one of my own to relate. My mother, who is a veterinary surgeon, once diagnosed a bladder stone in a small dog. The dog belonged to a man called Mr. Brain. Don't forget the name, Mr. Brain. When the bladder stone was surgically removed, it was found to be exactly the same shape as a canine brain. I would like to thank a number of people for making this evening a success, starting with the Rotary Organisation for running this competition in the first place. <coughs> Next, the audience for coming to hear us, and I thought the question from the gentleman added another dimension to our topic, which I hadn't thought of myself. Last but not least, the show and prep catering staff for providing the nibbles, <coughs> which I will be sampling as soon as I can. <laughs> 
Would you please put your hands together for that champion of coincidences, our speaker, Jacob Sykes. Thank <laughs> you. 